Yes. Ruby, a pretty interesting turn of events this past weekend at Revolution when you joined the team of Soraya and Tony Storm. I think the question on a lot of people's minds here tonight is, why? Obvious, Renee. I don't. I don't think it should come as a surprise to anyone. You all created this monster. You know, I'm, let's just let's just run it back real quick, Renee. My very first title match here in AEW was at Grand Slam against Britt Baker, and when she beat me, these people were thrilled. So we're gonna fast forward past that into the semifinals of the Owen Hart Tournament where I faced another homegrown in Chris Statlander. Oh, you all love Stat, don't you? And I know you weren't here yet, Renee, but can you remember the response I got after I beat her? Not a very warm reception. No, 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 no. They booed me out of the damn building, Renee. So then we get to revolution when your favorite homegrown, Jamie Hayter, pinned me in the middle of this ring. Yeah, I know we all love Jamie. And I realized then, Renee, that no one was ever gonna come to my defense. No one was ever gonna be mad when I lost. And no one here in AEW was ever going to really appreciate me. But I'm not the only one. Tony Storm came here, and she wasn't appreciated from the get-go. In fact, the company didn't appreciate her enough to call her an actual champion. They called her an inner rim. And then you all begged Soraya to come out of retirement. Your friend Soraya to come out of retirement, huh? And she does. And then you all, fat, neck-bearded, mouth-breathing trolls, came after her at a moment's notice. Yikes. We've been outcasts since the day we came into AEW. And we came here to help rebuild the women's division. But you can't build on broken foundation. You can only demolish and start new. And the broken foundation is the entitled little shits in the back. The broken foundation is the rookies who think that they deserve the world. Because Tony Khan 